Governor Greg Abbott skydived for the first time, and he did that with a 106-year-old who worked on an assembly line during World War II near San Marcos. The pair jumped out of the plane at 8,500 feet, and it was to honor the service and sacrifice of the U.S. military veterans around the nation. This was not the first skydive for 106-year-old Art Blasky. He made history in 2017 for the world's oldest tandem parachute jump in the world. Today, he extended that record. Fox's Rudy Kosky has more on the historic jump. This skydive Monday morning wasn't just a record breaker. It was also, for the governor, a promise fulfilled. <laughs> Under an overcast sky, Governor Greg Abbott floated to a soft landing on a field just east of San Marcos. The tandem skydive Monday morning at Fentress Air Park was a first for Abbott. The most shocking sensation uh, is when you immediately exit the plane and you're just in free fall. That initial rush, like in this video from Skydive Spaceland, was followed by another surprise. As soon as that chute pulls, uh, it's like just amazing peace out there. It's nice and, and calm and... Uh, it's, it's a, I think my favorite part was when you're just almost, you almost seem like you're at a standstill in the middle of air. Governor Abbott started his day in this airplane because of a promise that he made a year ago. The takeoff and the climb, 9,000 feet above Central Texas, included Al Blaschke. He was among those who joined the governor out of the plane door. Two, two flyers. The 106-year-old Georgetown resident became the oldest person to make a tandem parachute jump. I'm proud of you, young man. <laughs> On the ground, he and the Good governor job. celebrated the accomplishment with a handshake. And later, Blaschke told me his leap of faith should be a message to those who think that they're just too old to try something new. You're just underestimating yourself if you don't do things. You you, everybody does that. Everybody's more capable of doing things that they don't do if they try, just try them. About the time that the governor was jumping out of this airplane, state lawmakers were returning to Austin for what's left of the special session. The legislative fate of Abbott's school choice idea remains up in the air. Special session four ends next week, prompting my question to the governor. Are you going to call another one or are you still hoping out? Where do you guys stay tuned? Great, thank you guys so much. There may be a reason for Abbott's optimism, even if a fifth try under the Capitol Dome is needed. His skydive was delayed four times before getting off the ground, which provides some extra meaning to the song that Al sang on the way down and later with the governor. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. <laughs> nice. Al turns 107 in January, and there's a possibility he may be back to push that record a little higher. Rudy Kosky, Fox 4 News.